I'll be showing you step by step how to remove the search bar in the Shopify refresh theme. I'll be showing you everything step by step here, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. But let's start things off from our Shopify dashboard, and from there, let's navigate to our Shopify refresh theme. This will be on the left hand side. I'm going to click on online store, and this should open up my themes by default. You can see here that I currently have the refresh theme installed as the current theme for for my Shopify store. Now, before we make any changes, I'm always gonna recommend you duplicate the current version of your theme. This will create a backup just in case we make any errors along the way. It makes it super easy to restore everything rather than trying to figure out what went wrong. So to do so, let's go to the center of the page here, hover over these three dots. I'm gonna go down to duplicate and this will duplicate the exact version and all the settings that are set up with my currently installed theme. You can also rename this by clicking the three dots and maybe giving it the date on which you're doing these changes. If we take a look at the current theme available, the search icon is gonna be available in the top left. Let's go and remove this. And the way we're gonna do so is by adding some custom code. So let's go and hover over the three dots again. And from there, we're gonna go down to edit code. From there, we're gonna be searching for a file called base.css. So on the left-hand side under search files, let's search for it base.css and I can see it shows up under the assets folder. So I'm going to click on this file here. This will be a base style sheet for our theme. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom here and here we're going to add our new code. So I'm going to press enter a few times just to give us a little more space to work with. I'm also going to zoom in so you can easily see the code I'm about to write. The note, I'm not able to copy and paste this in the description, but feel free to pause the video at any time to make it easy to copy this code. So the code I'm going to write is period. The text is going to be header underscore underscore search. And I'm going to write a left curly bracket, then a right curly bracket. It should autocomplete after writing one. Next, I'm going to write display semicolon none. I'm also going to include an exclamation point and then important. Writing this important here is going to ensure it overrides anything else around the search bar. So it is going to be hidden. So I'll zoom in again, just make it easy to read this text here. And it's dot header underscore underscore search left curly bracket display semicolon none exclamation point important and then a right curly bracket at the bottom. I'm going to click save here to update the changes made. And if I go back to the current version of my refresh theme and I go and reload the page, I can now see that search icon has now been removed and is no longer accessible. I want to say that if you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. That's where our sponsor profit calc comes in the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, as well as a ton of different details, metrics, and analytics, so you can make smarter business decisions. It's gonna save you tons of time and sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold options. There's a link in the description below that brings you to the Shopify app listing, we can get a 15 day free trial to test drive everything for yourself. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. So that's it in a nutshell on how to remove the search bar from your Shopify refresh theme. We're simply hiding the icon so it is not available for customers to click on. If this video helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. I'm coming up with new Shopify tutorials all the time. If you have any questions about anything, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.